Hey guys, it's Mr. Mac and recording is Miss Polly Cronio. Um, today we're going to be showing you tomorrow's or today's lab and how it's going to be set up. So what you're going to need, you're going to need one of these little burritos from the front of the room and you're also going to need one fork, one spoon and one spork. So you're going to be in groups of three so make sure there's no more than three people in your group. It has to be three people in order for this lab to work. So once you have your burrito, you're going to go back to your group seat and you're going to take your burrito and just unravel it just like this. So inside your burrito are pom-poms, got red ones, black ones, and big and small ones. So what your group is going to be doing is you are acting like a predator. So you grab your fork, your spoon, and your spork that your other members will have. Each member will also have one cup. So this is your stomach. This is what you're going to hunt with. So when the, when the teacher says go, and make sure you have everything all spread out nice and evenly so no one's cheating, you want to spread out everything a little bit. All right, we're pretty good, good spread right there. So once the teacher says go, you have 20 seconds to hunt for as many um, as much prey as you want. So when the timer goes off, you have 20 seconds. You cannot use your hands. You can only use your tool. So you have to go through. You have 20 seconds to try to pick up as many pom-poms as you can. So you have 20 seconds. You just go through and try to collect as many as you can. Can we pick two up at once? You cannot pick two up, two up at once. You got to go one at a time. So that way you can get one of each into your stomach because that's how you eat. Okay. All right, so once the timer's gone off, what you gotta do next is you gotta take your stomach, move it away from your environment, and you wanna dump out your prey that you've captured. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the table on page two. So on the table, what you're gonna do for each round, we're gonna do three rounds of this, is you're gonna count up after each round how many of each type you've gathered. So right here, we have two black, or two big black pom-poms. We have one small black, and we have two big reds. So in your table, you're gonna come over, and I was using the fork, so make sure you, you label under the fork. So I have two big reds, so two large, two big blacks, and one small black. And I had zero small reds. So that is how you record your findings. Now, most importantly, once you're done with this step, you need to take these pom-poms and remove them from your environment. So you can either just leave them on the table, put them off to the side, do not put them back in your um, cup. Don't put them back in here. Don't put them back there. Keep them off the side and get ready for round two.